We're going casual today. Um, we had a request to put on a video about how to grocery shop, and I will tell you that my first experience shopping by myself was a disaster because I was trying to pretend like I wasn't looking at labels when I had every intent of looking at every label. So I understand this is not easy. Um, I recently took a client of mine grocery shopping, and it was very different for my client to go with me because he was so used to the same kinds of things. Where's the diet food? Where's the reduced fat? Where's... So we had an opportunity to go through the aisles and just look at what sounds good to me. That was the first time that he, he had no intention of buying anything. We just walked through to look at what sounds good. You don't buy anything that time. And then you get to go back and process that with your counselor. What was that like for you just to look at what actually sounds good? Next time that you go, before you go, it would be very helpful for you to sit down with your dietitian and to make a menu looking at what kinds of foods sound good to me. Now that I've been through treatment, or if I haven't been through treatment, the forbidden foods, if I had no fears and no reservations and wasn't afraid of gaining weight, what would I eat? So to make a menu and then to stick with that menu when you go shopping. When you get home, the tendency is to look at the labels. Buy some duct tape and duct tape all the labels, which is very scary, but very, very helpful or use a Sharpie marker, but I would just say use the duct tape. Get with your roommate, get with your family member that you trust, a close friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. Have them help you duct tape all the labels in the entire house. Um, there's power in that. Some people say it's controlling. I say it's empowering because I'm finally letting go of the numbers.